Hey guys, this is Random Kiwi from Rails Revolution. Now, you've all heard of bucket servers. If not, I'll post a video on what they are, what they can do, and the whole reason people make them. And today, I'm going to show you the easiest way to install a bucket server. I'm doing it on Mac, but this can be done on Windows and Linux as far as I know. Okay, so first of all, we want to get to this web page. Um, it should be in the description, or it should pop up now. Otherwise, the manual way of doing it is going to Google, typing in how to make bucket server, and pressing enter. And now the first link should be um, a bucket wiki link, which is this one, setting up a bucket wiki server, a server. <laughs> Okay, now once we're on the bucket wiki page, you would scroll down and click the bottom one, craft bucket auto installer beginner friendly. And it will lead you to this page once it loads. Yes, it will lead you to this page. Don't worry about that. Okay, now once here, what we want to do is scroll down and okay say you're using Mac since I'm using Mac I'll go to Mac users server for Mac users and click it and whether you're on Windows or Mac it should bring you to a, this page made by Hawk Falcon anyway it says click here to download so I'll just click there to download Okay, it'll say you have chosen open auto bucket server dot zip. Um, just press save file and save it anywhere you want. Okay, so I'm going to save it on my desktop since that's the easiest way I can get to it. Okay, desktop and save. Okay, and there we go. Now we want to go back to our desktop and as you can see it's right here and it's in a zip format so you need to use archive utility um, to open it, expand it. There we go. Okay, and you'll get this little theme jig. Okay, um, so what we want to do is just simply double click it. Yeah, yeah, just press open. and then it'll start by jumping up and down, just click it and it says click here to install your own bucket server and press start okay now it's telling, asking you where you want to set up your server I'm also going to set it up on my desktop okay and you press choose please wait while the server installs and as you can see it's already started installing Okay, now once it opens, okay, as you can see, um, it's already started installing. It's already given the first file, and this will take a while. So while that's happening, I'm gonna play some Screen Snakes. Obviously, you don't want to see me play Screen Snake, so you should skip to um, a time that will pop up about now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna play Screen Snake.
Okay, by now it should say done, and it should have opened this terminal window. Uh, I've changed this background, but normally it should be white, but anyway, it should say done right there. And before that, it should have been preparing spawn area and all this. Now, what you can do now is close this, but you can't just press the X button. You have to go type it in stop, S-T-O-P. You wouldn't have guessed that, would you? And once it stops lagging... Come on. Okay, then you press enter. Console, stopping server, stopping server, saving chunks. Okay, once it says process completed, then you can press whoops, then you can press X. Okay, now once you've done that run it should once you've run the server for the first time like that, you have to go into server properties. Should open with text edit. Uh-huh. Okay. And uh, what the hell is this go away? And then over here you'll see all this stuff. Now what you have to do is get rid of this thing that says server port. You have to get rid of the numbers at the end of it. And just leave it blank. Leave every server IP and server port blank, okay? Now just in case you're wondering, all these stuff stuff. This is max build height, how far people how high people can build. I don't recommend changing it though. Um this is whether it's spawn animals or not. A whitelist is um, if you want to make a list of people that own uh, of people you only want on, PvP being true means people can attack each other. Online mode it basically means you have to log in to play online. Difficulty that's just like as if easy, hard, peaceful, etc. Game mode that's the default um, game mode everyone should start off with. Zero is survival, one is creative. Max players twenty. Um, that's just the amount of ma the max amount of players you want on your server. Spawn monsters true. That's just the whether you want monsters to spawn or not. Generate structures. That's whether you want NPC villages. View distance. I won't worry about this. And this is the message that um, is underneath your server. You can change that to be whatever you want. Now after we've made this blank and this blank, we press Control Save, and that should be it. Lastly, ops. These are the people you can make ops. Banned players, obviously the ones you don't want on your server. Banned IPs, same thing basically. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, if you want to put one of your worlds you made in single player on your server, just dump it in here, but you have to name it world. Okay? So, that's it for my tutorial. Um, if you like this video and found it easy, then just subscribe to us or like this video, whatever. The point is, we're here to help. So, yeah, thanks. This is Random Kiwi signing out. See ya.